guys welcome back to my channel today's video is very very exciting it's going to be a first impressions and demo on the brand new bare minerals performance wear liquid foundation you guys know how much i love my bare minerals performance wear powder foundation it's like my favorite thing ever to set my foundation with so i was very excited that they brought out a liquid version i'm going to show you a demo and i'm also going to talk about how it fared throughout the day you will notice that i look different in this opening sequence from the rest of the video because me being the smart toasty i am i forgot to film an intro on the day that i filmed the other one so whoops i just want to make a point that since then i have worn the foundation for 12 hours in the second part of the video i talk about how i wore it for eight hours so i have worn it for 12 hours and everything i say about eight hour wear counts for the 12 hour wear that probably makes no sense to you right now but hopefully when you watch the video it makes sense if this is your first time watching one of my videos i hope you decide to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you get notified and never miss one of my videos ever again i promise you this is a fun place to be we have loads of fun over here if you're not new hello nice to see you again to prime my skin i use the bare minerals prime time original primer and i'm now going to apply the foundation this is what the foundation looks like i use the shade hazelnut 25 which is the exact same shade i use in the powder foundation it comes with a little pump which is always a plus in my book the foundation has also been marketed with a brush this is the luxe performance brush it's slightly angled as you can see so it's slightly tapered so you can apply the foundation like this. So I'm going to be applying half my face with a brush and half with my beauty blender. So I'm gonna give the bottle a shake first, pop the lid off and then just do two pumps and I'm gonna apply this side with my brush. Loving the coverage this gives really really liking the coverage this gives. This is the first time I'm trying it. Spreads really well, applies really well with the brush. I'm not usually a big brush. I'm literally married to my beauty blender so I don't really use brushes but this is a very good brush. The brush is very stiff. Bristles are packed quite tightly so I'm getting a nice even coverage. Nice full coverage as well. I'm loving the finish on this foundation also. Seems to blend really really well quite a good colour match as well actually I'm not mad at the colour match at all the only thing this is why this with brushes I can't really get up there and do my eye area oh I'm actually quite loving that I quite like that I really really like that actually I like the way it applies with brush usually with brushes it's quite streaky but this blends out so so nicely and we're going to do another pump on the old forehead and then a tiny one in there as well So that's half with the brush. Now we're going to do the other half with my beauty blender. Okay, so that is the application. This side I use my beauty blender, on this side I use my brush. Usually I'm absolutely married to my beauty blender and I love it. On this occasion, I think I prefer the brush purely because when you use a brush versus when you use a beauty blender, most of the product gets absorbed into the beauty blender, so you do lose a bit of coverage when you do it that way. Using the brush, I got a really, really nice flawless application. My skin on this side is really, really good. This side tends to be where the blemishes are, which is why I used the brush. Applied it so, so well. I'm really, really impressed with this brush, actually and the shape of it means that you can really go in and press the product so they recommend pressing it using the brush by pressing it into where you need to get it fills your pores and gives you a really really nice flawless base i am actually very very impressed i even went over this side a little bit on my on my jaw with the brush just because i like the way i applied the product so yeah that's my first impressions on the application using the brush and a beauty blender i'm gonna let it sit on my face do the rest of my face makeup okay so i just went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup i'm going to go out and about i am going to go get some coffee with my friend i'm gonna chill give it a couple of hours and i'll come back and give you guys my two pence on the foundation after the fact so far i'm 
absolutely loving how flawless my skin looks with this foundation honestly like the coverage with the brush even with the sponge like the coverage is right up my street it's a bit of me completely last first impressions i did i know you guys wanted to see the longevity so we're going to do longevity today hi guys so it's currently 10 p.m i just got back i was out and about i grabbed some coffee with a friend i got some dinner with a friend i haven't touched up at all so this is the exact face i had on earlier i haven't put any powder on top or anything like that just to give you guys a bit more information about the foundation before i talk about how it's kind of worn throughout the day so this foundation is a liquid foundation obviously it's got spf 20 in it which is always a plus for me nice protection it's good to always protect your skin if you need to put an extra layer of spf underneath obviously feel free so this foundation claims to be a 24 hour wear obviously i've only worn it for for eight hours so i can't really attest that 24 hour wear i can only tell you how it's worn for the eight hours i've had it on it'd be quite difficult to tell you how it wore for 24 hours unless i did physically keep it on my face for 24 hours which i don't really feel like doing i don't feel like that'd be much fun so bare minerals market this foundation as a breathable full coverage that's creamy and gives you a nice matte finish it's also supposed to blur pores and imperfection water resistant sweat resistant humidity resistant transfer resistant all that really really good stuff so these are all the claims that the foundation claims to do and i am going to be telling you how i thought it did and another really really interesting thing that i wanted to try is that they say that this foundation does not oxidize it doesn't get gray it doesn't get ashy or anything like that so those are all the claims that were put out there by better minerals what i do have to say first is that i love this foundation it's marketed as a full coverage foundation and I absolutely agree with it whether or not it's the lightest weight foundation because it's meant to be a lightweight and um, full coverage foundation I put a lot of foundation on anyway I'm not sure what the coverage would be like if you use less product because I just use as much product as I always use with all my foundations I really really like the consistency it is very very creamy it is breathable I don't feel like I've got a massive layer of product on my skin I do feel like I've got product on my skin I, it's not like the feeling of a bare skin or with all of my foundations all the time regardless of whether it's a matte finish velvet dewy I always always set my foundation it's just something that I do what I use at the moment to set my foundations is the bare minerals bare pro performance wear powder foundation so I've been using this for a while you guys have seen this on my channel for as long as I've had it it is the best setting powder that I've used at the moment. I know it's a powder foundation um, but I use it to set. These two together are a dream, a match made in heaven. I'm not the kind of person that leaves my house and then takes products to use on the go. Like I know some people get quite oily so they have to take powder or blotting powder. I have quite normal skin. I tend to get oily around my nose if anything. When I put on makeup in the morning or at the start or before I leave my house I put it on to last me the whole day. So I don't put it on with the thoughts of I'm going to powder. I n never, hardly, rarely take powder or anything out with me and i also use the bare minerals primer and then i set my face using the urban decay all night setting spray so that's like kind of my base to keep everything in and to hold it in and this is the wear so far I only had it on for eight hours i didn't powder on top of what i did earlier so what you saw earlier is how it is i haven't powdered i have got quite sweaty i was like trying to close on so i got a bit sweaty at times i got a bit damp at times and i think it's held the test i think it's held up really really well i'm gonna come nice and close for you guys that's where i tend to get oily that's where i tend to start breaking up the only thing i did was i applied a little little bit of whatever was left on my um beauty blender my concealer just in the inner corners because my eyes tend to irritate so i end up like faffing with my eyes a lot so i end up getting that transfer but that's got nothing to do with the foundation that's just just explaining why that looks like that but apart from that i have not powdered at all this is the exact same this is what the skin looks like up close and personal i was very very active i was out and about i've done 10,000 steps today from when i left my house at 2 p.m so as you can see it's been quite an active day it held the test you know it has been sweat proof you know it has been water resistant if you count my sweat as water i haven't really tested the humidity resistant because it, w it wasn't particularly humid outside obviously i'm in a jumper and i was in a jacket so i was very very warm but it wasn't really very humid out. usually i'm a bit funny about brushes but i love the way the brush applies the foundation it actually applied better than my beauty blender which surprised me because i'm married to my beauty blender no nothing can do better in my eyes this foundation is going to be out exclusively in debenhams on the 24th of august it's also going to be available online and then on the 7th of september it comes out nationwide and in department stores as well so wherever there's a bare mineral store you'll be able to get your hands on it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's first impressions slash demo if you have any questions please shoot them down in the comments bit below let me know if you want to see any other first impression slash demo thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye